Okay, dear students, uh, in the last class, you have uh, seen about the laws of reflection, right? Laws of reflection. A simple way to understand the law of reflection is, you know that, angle I, right? Number one, the angle I. I over here is angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Just to recollect, if you have a if you have a plane surface, right? The ray of light which comes from the source, right? The ray of light which comes from the source. Now this ray of light coming from the source, it is called as what? It is, this is called as the this is called this is the source it can this is the source it can be the sun it can be the moon it can be your candle it can be your switch uh, i mean your bulb or tube light anything this is called as what this is called as the incident ray of light and the ray of light which bounces back from the reflecting surface okay now this is called as what this is called as the reflected right this is called as the reflected ray of light I had also told you that if you draw an imaginary line perpendicular to the perpendicular to this reflecting surface okay perpendicular to the reflecting surface now this imaginary line would be called as what would be called as the normal so the angle between the incident ray the angle between the incident ray and the normal will be called as angle of incidence the angle between the reflected ray and the normal will be called as angle of reflection that is rule one rule two rule two is the incident ray this one the incident ray okay the incident ray also the reflected ray and number three the normal the normal all these three lies in the same plane so this is the law of reflection today before we move on to the next topic let us uh, let us know a little about what is a plane mirror right what is a plane mirror when i talk about the plane mirror i'm sure all of you must have mirror at home and so today the topic is what is a plane mirror right you must know that plane mirror is a it's a it's a highly polished surface right it's a highly polished surface right it's a highly polished surface whose reflecting surface right whose reflecting surface is plane now this is just uh, just a definition whose reflecting surface is plane okay now here there's a big big question and the question is uh, sorry for that disturbance reflecting surface is plane the question is highly polished surface when you when you just feel the plane mirror okay when you feel the plane mirror you will find that it's extremely smooth right it's extremely smooth and because of that smoothness of the plane mirror we can say that it's a highly polished surface right reflecting surface is plane huh? so uh, if I assume that this is a plane mirror right this is a plane mirror and the light falls on this part of the mirror the portion of the mirror where the light falls and reflects now that portion if you touch you will find that it's perfectly plain right it's a plane without any undulations it's plain and that is why it is called as a plane surface so plain mirror it's a highly polished surface whose reflecting surface is plain now why are we discussing about plane mirror because when it comes to mirror you need to understand that we have we have different types of mirror okay we will gradually discuss about all those different types of mirror as we proceed further in the chapter but for the moment let us try to fully understand what is a plane mirror as i said the definition right if you look into the definition of the plane mirror it states that the plane mirror is a highly polished right the plane mirror is a highly polished surface whose highly polished surface whose reflecting surface is what whose reflecting surface is plane okay point one 
uh, when it comes to image formation right when it comes to image formation by a plane mirror now when i say image formation what do you understand by image formation it means the type of image right image formation it actually refers to the type of the image right image formation the type of image formation right image formation when i say image formation what does it mean the type of image formed by the plane mirror in plane mirror you know there is one very important thing called as lateral right one very important term called as lateral inversion right lateral inversion now this may be a new word to you but though the word may be new but you have a it's a very old experience now what does it mean in a mirror right in a mirror when you are writing right when you're writing with your right hand and if you look into your plane mirror as you write it will appear as if you're writing with your left hand right so over there in the plane mirror the right appears to be what the right appears to be the left okay and the left appears to be what the left appears to be right okay so this property of the mirror by which it can invert right invert when i say invert it does not mean vertically inverted but is inverted sideways where the right appears to be left and the left appears to be the right now this is one very important characteristic of an image formed by a plane mirror and that characteristic in which the mirror inverts the image right where the right appears left and the left appears right that is what we call it as a lateral inversion okay now uh, i guess that's a uh, another very important thing is the image formation right the image image formed right we see here the image formed image formed by a plane mirror right image formed by a plane mirror is at equal distance right is at equal distance from the object image formed by a plane mirror is at equal distance from the object right is at equal distance from the object now my question is I know this are uh, this can be rather very confusing for many of you but uh, let me uh, try to explain this with the help of a small you know with the help of a small example let us suppose that this is a plane mirror okay this is what this is the plane mirror right now if this is the plane mirror okay if this is the plane mirror and you are standing here right this is where you are standing hmm? you are standing here so this is the distance right this is the distance between you and the mirror let's say it is uh, let's say it is 10 centimeter right now this is your distance of the object so this is object distance right what i can say here is this is object distance this is object distance here equal distance from the object so object distance now the image formed by the plane mirror will be at an equal distance as the object that means if the distance between the object object and the mirror is 10 cm then the distance between the mirror and the image would also be what would also be 10 cm strange right now you may be wondering that means how far it is formed right but whereas you are able to see on the mirror whereas you are able to see the image on the object itself uh, in on the in mirror itself so how am i trying to prove this a very simple example would be you stand in front of a plane mirror and you try to walk back right you try to walk back as you walk back you are standing here right you are standing here you know what is going to happen uh, i hope you will understand this you're standing this black pencil is the object and this red pencil is the image now if you move back if you move back from the mirror as you move back from the mirror you will find that the object and the image both of them will be moving back right you can experience that for yourself just stand in front of the mirror and try to see what happens to the image formed in the mirror as you move front or as you move back when you move back the image also will move back when you come closer to the mirror the image will also come closer to the mirror and all this will be at equal distances the object dis the object distance and the image distance will be at equal distances right so both the image so 
sorry the image formed by a plane mirror is at equal distance from the object which means the distance between the object and the plane mirror and the distance between the image right and the plane mirror would be what would be equal so this is another characteristic of a plane mirror first the plane mirror forms a uh, forms an image which is laterally inverted when we say laterally inverted it means the left appears the right and the right appears to be the left okay characteristic number one characteristic number two the image formed by a plane mirror is at equal distance from the object right another small but very important thing the image formed by a plane mirror or I can say that the size of the image right the size of the image formed right the size of the image formed by a plane mirror right by a plane mirror is equal right is equal to the size right is equal to the size of the object okay this is another very important characteristic that you need to keep in mind so plane mirror what is a plane mirror plane mirror is a highly polished reflect polished surface whose reflecting surface is a plane what is the characteristic of the image formed by a plane mirror the characteristic of the image formed by a plane mirror is the plane mirror forms a laterally inverted image what do you understand by laterally inverted laterally inverted means the right appears to be the left and the left appears to be the right which you can experience for yourself when you just sit in front of the mirror and write with your right hand in the mirror it will appear as left you write with your left hand in the mirror it will appear as right that is laterally inverted another characteristic is the image formed by a plane mirror is at equal distance from the object that means the distance of the object and the distance of the image from the mirror will be equal and this is what you experience when you're standing in front of the mirror and if you walk back from the mirror you find that the image also walks back from the mirror or away from the mirror if you walk towards the mirror you find that the image also walks towards the mirror so this is only trying to balance the balance equal distances that is number two and number three the size of the image formed by a plane mirror is equal to the size of the object so this is about plane mirror okay